Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a clean with me power hour style. Today has been one of those messy bun, get things done type of days, and this evening is no exception. Um, my husband and I and Sophia all went out of town to the West Coast uh, for a little bit and haven't done any serious cleaning since we got back, and to say our home is a disaster <laughs> would be an understatement. Uh, Sophia got into a project I was doing, and yeah, I'll blame it on her, so <laughs> we've got paper everywhere, and as you can see, a lot to clean, not just in the living room, but in the kitchen as well, so yeah, if you're needing some motivation and inspiration for cleaning, I uh, hope you'll be inspired by this video. This video is in collaboration with my YouTube buddy, Heart and Home. She's a really delightful uh, young woman and she does all kinds of organizing tips on her channel and also clean with me's and hauls. And so if you enjoy the content that I post on my channel, I am positive that you're really going to enjoy Heart and Home. So go check out her clean with me video after viewing this one. So in this video, I really wanted to kind of show you my nighttime cleaning routine or ritual, whatever you want to call it. And I do like to light candles or do diffusers because I do uh, chemical free cleaning for the most part, which means there's no real scent with uh, chemical free cleaning. And so I really enjoy candle and this is a pulse wick candle that I've been loving. It's been in my recent favorites videos, which I'll have linked below. So now that we have the scent going, we're going to get the timer. This is power hour style. And you know, something about 1950s, 40s music just gets me in the mood to clean. It makes me feel domestic. So sometimes I do have that playing when I'm cleaning. So I used to get really frustrated with all the clutter and stuff during the day with my little one. She's about 10 months now and I read in um, What to Expect the First Year, that's a book, uh, just kind of share with you the milestones of what your baby is going through from month to month. They just mentioned a little tip in there about not worrying about cleaning up really until the end of the day um, because you know babies just don't, you put it away and they'll pull it right back out again. So um, that has been really sound good advice. For me uh, just to chill throughout the day just let her play get into things and then really just tidy up in the evening and uh, so it's made for just a lot more peaceful day because I'm not freaking out like oh my house is such a mess you know I can just r realize that at the end of the day I'm going to take care of it and then we'll have a fresh start with a clean slate clean home tomorrow morning <laughs> my eye on a shoe organizer uh, for this space. If you have any ideas, please share below about how, how, what do you do with the shoes in your home? Do you have them tucked away somewhere, in a caddy, in a closet? So here we've got the living room done enough. I'm happy with this for now. And we're going to move on to the kitchen.
back to the island in my previous clean with me video from my kitchen you would have noticed this really shabby looking green thing <laughs> um, and I finally got tired of it because it kind of wobbled when you used it so I put it out and, and we just put this table here temporarily until we get our island situated and figured out. dishwasher and then I will also wipe the counters and mop and sweep and I do want to take an opportunity to tell you about what I've been mopping with lately so if you struggle with any kind of pests like here in the south we have pests that can get in the house you can mop with a combination of peppermint oil um, I also like to add grapefruit and um, that can help repel all kinds of pests. So, and I do enjoy my Lipman mop because I like that you can add your own solution, own mixture, whether that's water and vinegar and some essential oils or whatever you want. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to check out Heart and Home. And also coming up, if you've been curious about mascara makeup, you've heard of that, um, I will be doing an official unboxing and review and possibly a tutorial, so think about that. But if you're interested to see that coming up, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and you'll also be uh, getting notifications for all the other videos and content I have coming up next. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.